as close as you like. And well, here we go. We're underway with the CT side start and a bit of a matchmaking classic. Yeah, this is, this is the face at Classic, actually. Up we go into the site through the smoke, and uh, the bomb should go down any second here. Second smoke for good measure. And the flank, a two-man flank coming in. So they, they've actually gone around each other, because Nikodos is through middle. Yeah, interesting. Uh, who's responsible for the flank? That's often... Aha, uh -huh, Ooksy. Oh, he spotted out both of them, and Roy, only the one. Good shot out of Kyojin. He doesn't stop there. In fact, strings together too, and... Oh, oh, Kyojin takes all three heads. Problem for, for the flames. It's only Nikodos. Would love the USP. Six bullets to work his magic, and a 10-second ten second defuse is being shaped oh. up. That forces him off the bomb, and Nikodos calls the bluff. Oh, oh. oh Suta. Good recovery there from the French Kyojin. I thought he'd done enough for a clean one, but Nikodos makes it interesting. Well, I said their names, Masuda and Kyojin, and both of them stepping up with massive towards B early to dissuade any. It's unusual. Yeah, they just want to make sure Kyojin doesn't get bullied. And after the other day, you can understand why. Now, this little one way from Roy, we've seen it popularized by the likes of Art as well as Nafani. Uh, Kyojin's going to be thinking, uh, thanks, thanks for the smoke. I, 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 I get the plan, but I, I can't see anything now. I was here on his, lo his lonesome. Now, if you're going to have one player anchoring the A bomb site, he would be the man, but this is going to be difficult for him as oh, well. Yeah, and they heard that. So the pin pull will lead to his demise. Oh, and oh, nice oh. string together of frags from the flames. Saving and yeah. chasing. Look how quick he is on their heels. This is really fast. They won't be ready for this. Apex is going to get pants here, yeah, I think. One would assume. I mean, it's unlikely that... <laughs> How's that the one round? How is that it? <laughs> Oh, wow, some good shots. Yeah, and I think that extra, you know, it's come back to bite them. The uh, backup of Kyojin worried about a fast B. It's ended up just essentially forcing them to save because they're so distant from those initial frags. But that was just a contact play A, right? And if you're able to get that A ramp control without anybody trying to push you away, that's great because I, I still think we haven't completely figured out the best way to be playing that Ivy, Shorts, Scaff, whatever position you want to call it, right? It, it gets real awkward. And you can see Zawa getting caught off, having to worry about both of those positions right there. Here we go, the equalizer. And uh, Copenhagen... It doesn't look too bad, but the buy definitely better on the Dane side of things, as Kyojin will now be working on some mid-aggression. Taking some liberties. He's got Apex alongside. Well, they will get across, right? Ooh, yeah, and by the way, he wants to go T-spawn. He's gonna sweep through. Lots of info. That's, yeah, plenty. Nade on toes of oh, shocks doesn't really get much better than that. Oh, Molly as well. I think that just missed, but they'll extinguish for good measure here. And they have a good idea that somebody's up close. If they... Oh, 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 Kyojin could absolutely ruin this round for the Flames. Yeah. Doesn't catch a glimpse initially. And... Good catch from Xiphon. He wasn't really too surprised to be seeing engagement there. Great awareness. I'm not sure if the sound cue was heard with uh, Kyojin yeah. dropping off or not, but Xiphon looked very aware. That is a huge kill to make right now, and this one tips in the Copenhagen Flames' favor. It was looking so good for Vitality with that not only information, but opportunity. It's gone awry. No utility. You normally would expect a flash for Zyro to be holding such an aggressive line, but it's going to have to just be the bullets. A boost as well, not bad. Over the smoke will enable them to have an advantage and a contribution to help Zywu. They swing out and he takes two from that position. You couldn't ask for more. Bomb to be planted. That's unlikely Apex can deny. Oh, and he spots out Nikodos. Quick reaction from him. The Dane delivers. And the force by war as well. Copenhagen Flames have strung two together. Yeah, they're over. Episode three. I wish I remembered the, the names, but uh, all in all, we'll call it uh, a shock saving an MP9 here. And I'm excited, really, to see. Uh, look, uh, you know, I tried to get back into playing some regular Counter-Strike here, Alex, and when I would come across a Danish five stack on <laughs> Vertigo, it was never easy. Right. Let me tell you that much. They're definitely sweaty, and, and you love it, right? Because looking at the details of this game, just with how everybody's dug on in, Still finding out new things with Counter-Strike, all these little jiggles to do, and he's just got a very cool, calm head on his shoulders. Very nonchalant about the whole... No big undefeated deal. ...undefeated group stage thing. Yeah, just, just beat everybody in yeah. the hardest group. You know how it goes. Top the hardest group at the EU RMR, yeah. Cal Sports, big, yeah. G2, yeah. FBX. Yeah. Don't worry about them, boys. 
We've been doing this. For about two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> and online. Uh, but again, it's been great, this storyline. And if it continues here, and we add another chapter right here, right now, be happy. Where's that molly going to go? Is that a default one? Okay, it's a jump throw as well. A little bit deeper. I like that. Quad mollied off as well. Nobody will be able to hide on in and shoot him in the back of the dome. Now, scamper on into the site here. Mopping up business. Yabby with two. Hooksy with one. And it's Apex and Zywe that remain the heroes of Dust 2. Apex is going to grab a consolation frag here, but this should be the third round unless Zywe happens. Not today. Not in Yab. I believe his name is Kenny Wu. And uh, there's a commentary moment in that, which is Wu, 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 Kenny Wu. I was wondering if someone could do something with that with, with Zai Wu when he pops off. It's definitely... Uh, it's doable. Doable. It's not out of the realms of possibility. Interesting you speak of the Wu. Well, Shox is the one equipped with the orb this time around. I feel like this is essential right here for Vitality to show a different face on Vertigo this time round, just to make sure that they don't have the same dramas pop up as last time. But it is just shocks left with the B bombsite and middle because Kyojin's joined the pack over towards the A bombsite here. And well, it's called clear, but it's so early. It is so early right now. That smoke, the fact that Zoe is ahead of it is great. That flash is going to make him panic a little bit. But if he takes Roy down, then they can start hedging elsewhere. Ah, uh, Roy not ready for that, so Zaiwu, his presence noted, and here we go towards B. Yeah, shocks collect. Molotov doubt, though, a good extinguish to maintain control. Apex almost attracted to that smoke, wants to catch them as they leave. I think they've been completely denied here. It comes down to Hooksy and his pacing. Apex does get the kill. Hooksy through mid onto one. Masuda immediately with the trade, and that's great from Vi for him. And the buy will be back here for the Copenhagen Flames. Lots of cash money. All pout for Nikodos again, and we're going to see... Or some smokes forward. Zywu, it's just graceful. He's burning, melting, and he even gets a kill for his troubles. Great stuff to go one for one. Yeah, good Molotov from Nikodos, though. Oh, Apex, you're dead. Super well placed. Caught with a nade in his hands. Down and out. The rotate's going to have to be swift. You can see them all beelining it for the A site. A lot of this will have been heard. Ooh, Nikodos struggles to find the first shot, and this time is Suta. Peeking out aggressive with his teammate does level things out nicely. There's some haste to the Copenhagen Flames. Still have one more smoke here for the right side. Nikodos could throw that one out, and they can get the bomb down. Hooksy's already quite aggressive here. It looks like they want to find a kill or two before this is going down, and I like this more def uh, sorry aggressive smoke. You can see cottoning off towards the elevator room. And another one. So they really want to funnel them through the heaven position right now. This is where Yabby's going to be set for good engagements. Nikodos fires off a shot. Attention drawn ramp. He can release his crouch key at any time, but he's hiding. For now, they clear him. Okay, good nade damage or a dink at least found. Strikes from short. Hooksy draws attention there. And Nikodos caught again. Kyoto's doing a lot here for the Vitality squad and a solid retake from the French. They tie things up. Call it three. And Hooksy's down to just a deagle here. So everybody else with AKs, the AWP for Nikodos again. Utah a little bit light. They've thrown out that gap smoke. The one way there as well. You have to be so careful around that. Yeah, and Apex throws caution to the wind for a second. Pre-fire into all of those likely spots. Counter flash now deployed. Does get at least one through. And Typhon will deal with Apex if they get them both, which they have. It's only Masuta to be toppled. And he knows he's got a lot on his plate. Will fall off after his aggressive short maneuver. It's help, though. He does. And Nikodos is trying to clear him. Just oh. as he looks away. Another miss. Nikodos doesn't catch him. Just shy as Masuta. They missed the one way. Oh, missed the one way, but he's just going to walk through it anyway. I think Shock suspects action's coming his way. Not the wrong weapon for the job, I think. It's all right to think about it. Masuta and Kyojin will call mid clear, so his attention can now be ready for this B stairs push. Let's see how nerdy the flames are about this. Do they boost? He considers exactly the same option. And in the meantime, 38 seconds. Nikodos is up sandbags, and he's dro dropping util. Like smoking elevator, Shock's holding his nerve. He's going wider. 
taking his line, nearly two in with one, the bullet, oh, oh and snaps into Hooksy as well. Up to Yabby. 20 seconds, he'll collect the first and smoked off. Kyojin spotted just as it blooms. You've got no time for this. Bombs on the stairs. He needs frags. He could his flanking, though. Oh, oh, catches a glimpse. Can't finish the job. Kyojin on default. They don't have time to plant, oh, Chad. Oh, sketchy. They don't have time to plant. They need the frags. He's going to get it. One on one, and he finds it. What a recovery. She's providing all the way from the A site. Well, this Vertigo has a different flavor, Chad. It really does. And Shox has chosen to bring something into this. So it's not entirely undefended or barren. It's P250, sure. Some USPs. But a silenced M4 in the mix. Hooksy looks very familiar with that nade set, doesn't he? Actually, seeing some threatening pistols in the feed. Maybe that rifle recovered onto Zaiwu could have a little more to give. Oh, double nade. These boys are looking good. Maybe Zaiwu can do better. He needs a big clutch here, right? He's going to hear these stampe stampeding tees all the way on the way back. And what's oh, a fake? It's all a ruse. It don't be so cheeky about this. This is the cool, like the cool thing about the map. I know a lot of people don't love it. The fact that it's so audible here, but well, it's drawn the fake with sound alone. Saiwu caught knife out. That's a nice kill, but a little bit too late. They're already in the site, and they have a bucket load of utility to dissuade him from this retake. Yeah, really crossing the T's, dotting the I's, and avoiding the woo. Looking for the 1v3, and they're playing mind games with him. He doesn't even have a kit for this. I don't see how he's supposed to get back into it. And yeah, neither does Hooksy. Denies him at the first hurdle. Make an argument against that statement. But we just wanted to see a competitive nature, because best to one in the group stage, sure. But best to three is against some of the world's best is a completely different conversation. Yeah, very different kettle of fish. So Haiwu, he had the sound cue, and they've all run past him. All of them with their backs turned. Zaiwu delivers two and a half. Hoaxy still kicking. Will silence him. Man advantage three to be received here from the Flames. And they're re-aggressing short. Now, if Nikodos is posted up by the time they arrive, he's got a shot here. Oh. And he connects it. Apex as well is his next victim. And suddenly advantage back in the favor of the Flames. Kyoji is the B defender. We all know that. So all the Flames as they take some... Space, take a plant. Considered the rush of down of the bomb planter, but thinks better of it. Now he's got all the tools at his disposal, but just round the corner at dawn. Bringing in five. Apex trying a pot shot, peeking into Nikodos, at least for the info, I suppose. I don't think they're going to get away with a lot here, right? This is really, really good stuff. I I'm kind of feeling like a minimum for Vitality at this point needs to be six on this CT side if they want to win this map. But I didn't think I would be saying that in any of the games with the favorites here. So uh, you can just tell by the way that Copenhagen Flames are conducting business that they have a very good understanding of how they want to approach this map. Certainly. And I'll also remind everyone that there's likely um, five viewers, maybe even six viewers, that are ex especially interested in the result of this game, and that is NIP. With their victory today, see oh, yes. Vitality lose should they be reverse swept here by the Copenhagen Flames, it would secure legend status for NIP. Yeah, and that comes down to the points, guys. I know it is confusing, but this is the RMR system. It's the first time you're seeing it come to fruition. Last year, we all knew that the major couldn't happen. This time, we're only 19 days away, and it's those points, your placings, and doing the maths here is... The maths is being done right now, and it's only one to find for Vitality. Kyojin, last man standing again, as the bomb will get planted and continuing this onslaught, the Flames... Seven rounds to the good here. Increase this gap. Four rounds as the lead right now. And Kyojin, if he can find an AK, that'd be all right. But this one here is done. Things could be going better right now for Copenhagen Flames. They're even dropping nades on through into that elevator room to great success. Warning shots fired. Position noted. A kill not bad. And a TK. Nation are actually conceding rounds. Let's see if this continues or if they can buck the trend. As you said, you've kind of set a, a, a light margin of six. Well, they're actually changing it up completely here. They're actually looking to go early towards and B. It's just Kyojin. If he dies, they're oh. going to be straight into B. And they're even doing the boost. I don't think he spotted the backpack. He's Because they can mantle up. He's dead. He is dead. 
Yep. And Yabby has opened up the B site again. Great flash from Shox. He's adjusted his spray and shocked with one, but it's unlikely he gets any more. Zyphon's quick to trade. You have to save. What are you going to do, Masuda? Try and win the round, I guess. And knocking Zyphon down is the first step. He needs a lot more. And oh, he's found two. He's made it competitive after all. He's going to lull them in, but they have to convert this. Vitaly, you have to convert. This is the best shot you've had in a while. Oh, good catch. Apex peaks on Nikodos, getting aggressive with the util, and there's your... I like the fact that he's playing with no fear in that scenario, and it's strange that one round, and then we just see a Deagle come out, and a Mac 10 as well. Might be some more pace behind this, but again, they're coming over to help out. Sudra on that B... Uh, sorry, Kyoj on that side. Lol. Lol? Lol. 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 Laugh out loud. Lots of love. Lots of love. LOL, mum. And shocks. Well, he can't escape. He's going to have to fight his way out. And Zyphon's not going to allow any of that. Kyojin. Yes, he's not been Whoa. checked and tames the spray. Zyphon nearly down as well. Quick flank. Very quick. And they are low. So very susceptible to the M4A1S of Apex. Roy, surely not going to get anything oh. more with this Mac 10. Ruffle copter. Yeah, LMFAO. Well, now it's a Masuda in a one on three. And, well, this isn't out of the realms of possibility, especially if he gets this kill. Now they're both low. Yeet, this is it. AK recovered, 45 seconds. They're walking their way towards A, and it seems Masuda has a similar inkling in his mind. He can win this. He certainly could. A 1v3 back-to-back <laughs> -back Masuda impact rounds. 29 points of health between them. The timing on this is going to be huge. If he continues to As walk on past, he might get both of them back. Oh, Masuda, what a play. He's got them red. Completely and totally, oh, and that easy. is the clutch. Deeks here with Util. Only being left behind. They stampede over the bridge. Vitality get their defensive juices flowing. The one way again. Roy with his main weapon, I suppose. See, this is just such a great smoke to be able to get control up towards A. And Apex, you need to be careful. Oh, Zywu too. Oh, what a find. They take down Zywu. Apex on notice. Go They'll Jets swing in. Mate. Yeah, and he's thrown out his incendiary as a Hail Mary. They're losing the site. They may very well lose the round unless Mr. Masuta has a problem. And he does address it slightly. Takes down Hooksy. Kyojin can get nothing done either. But it, oh, as I say that, actually, he did catch one. Shocks with a wall bang leaves us in that one on one. It's Yabby up against Shocks. Two very different ends of the experience spectrum here, Jack. The bomb will go down, and this is great for the flame. Shocks is going to note now it has to be the A bomb site. The 40 seconds thrust onto the clock, and it's a matter of finding him now. Yabby. A lot for his confidence, this one. And oh, damn, Famas eliminates him instantaneously. Not even. Oh, again. Deagle for Nikodos, the rest are into rifles, the util is light, but I don't feel it matters what Copenhagen's flames have in their hands. They are threatening regardless. Oh, Apex, you've almost melted down completely. 20 points of health and you still get a kill. This one here is really back and forth. It's a biff on Vertigo. The 51st floor is heating up. It is. Ever since Apex screamed, let's freaking go. <laughs> we just had confirmation from our production team. Yeah, it is. It's it's becoming a brawl. A bit of a biff here on Virgo. They're giving them the A site here again, and it makes sense. They have had troubles, right? They've been getting caught off guard. Last round is the perfect example. Zywu pants down Apex followed. And by doing so, it means that they can hedge their bets towards middle and B. Two players stoic on the site. Every time that Vitality have gambled players towards mid and B, the Danes tend to take like contact walks, and it's no exception here. Like we saw Nick Dost do it before, and while they are flirting with the B stairs, look at this from Roy. Like serious liberties taken, and depending on his crosshair placement, you might have Zaiwu. Nice position from him. Pressure mounting on both sides. They look to pivot. Hooksy's going to full commit to this to try and convince them. Loud over the ladder. I think they think that it's better to get the bomb down on A. They've been given a lot of space here, so the plant will put them into a post plant. Yeah, that one way is not going to get them far. The bomb will go down. Shox has a smoke for this. There's a lot of flashes that Zywu can throw through the skylights to help with this retake and a molly for good measure here. There's kits in play, two of which... This ain't easy. 
Siphon tested. Tracks them well. Confirms multiple targets oh. and all shots connect. Only Masuta, he's not long. And the thing with the Flames is, you know how we notice a lot of teams online, they're going for those plays where they're sending out multiple different hooks into the water, right? Well, this time round, you're getting to see it manifest and work. Normally on land, those teams who would try those plays, they just lose their heads up fights. This is some great stuff from the Flames. And another great kill from Roy. Make that two. Well, they reached that six mark, you set. And it was in consecutive fashion, a bit of a motivating factor. But the Flames are not letting this one slip. That is nine. Just Masuta and Kyojin trying to change our minds and it's not looking fun. Certainly not now. Nice headshot though onto Nikodos and Hooksy is there to keep things in favor. I'm gonna let Yabby work his flank a bit, I think, before they commit. Never mind, bombs down and oof, so is Kyojin's Deagle, leave him alone. He's a threat. We know he's got the aim, but three AKs hunting him down. Yeah, this would be interesting to see, right? Normally we see a smoke or a little bit of utility to help them get on in somewhere, but making the sound cues across the bridge, that's going to keep the four players currently over towards A of the Flames activated. Siphon with some warning shots, but they're still quick on this space. The Glocks are good for this type of a range, and they've done everything they needed to, but Zywoo is getting pushed. Yeah, he runs out of options, and Roy takes away his head. It's only Yabby towards B right now, so if you're quick as a Vitality fan, you'll be into this bomb site. But Yabby's going to tuck in towards... Oh, oh, oh no, he's spotted. He's not spotted now and does manage to somehow oh, find one on the way out. Oh, they're stalling. They want to run, run boost. boost. Yeah, maybe Roy can hit the snappy one. They'll get him on the box and across into the default. Oh, Siphon completely pants. Did not see that one coming. Looking the wrong way. Roy, aggressive. Masuta, oh, card no. to track, and yeah, makes a meal out of that. Masuta cleans house, and he is at the... You see him in the hallways, you see him at the catering, but you ain't seeing him head-to-head -head here in the studio for the best of threes. The quarterfinals, they got to the playoffs with their prowess on LAN. Here he goes again. Yabi, aggressive. Takes a chunk out of Kyojin, but now this... Or spy back from the CTs is running out of options fast. Oh. I we relentless on his taps on that default box and punishes Siphon for poking his head back up. Yeah, tried his luck there, didn't he? Shocks has found Hooksy as well. So this is where you can really start to feel vitality getting into the mix of things. Another one hits the deck and it is just Nikodos with that scout. He's gone too at that flash. It just bounces off the top of the stairs and it gets everybody. Oh, here we go. Okay, that nade, it hurts a lot and Shocks with three. The info's better and that should be Vitality securing this. He's done more than was asked of him there, Shocks. They're going to quickly scamper up towards the A site. Masuda's already locked and loaded and confirming that there are no rotates just yet. Bomb will go down. And damage now. That's the question mark for these next 40 seconds. How much can the scavenge MAC-10 really get away with here? Yabby's been good, hasn't he? 17 for him here. 14 for Hooksy. 11 apiece for Roy and Nikodos, and then Zyphon with nine. We've been talking about Masuta. Yeah, he has 18 kills now. Shox has just gotten himself up to 14. 12 for Zywu, nine for Kyojin, and, well, I think Apex might be destined to add two to his score. This could get him up to 10 kills. And it will. So there you go. And here we go. Let's see out the gates. It's oh, wow, I thought Zywu had him every day of the week. Masuta will. Will they expect Roy so quick? So quick. He's got one dead to right. Kyojin, that could have been it. He could have finished it off right there and then. But Kyojin wants to play ball. Two here to receive him. Not much health after the nades and bullets. And yeah, Zyphon will... Yeah, quite deep into play, in fact. You can see already the exchange of nades. The whole squad coming for Hooksy's position. The Tracer Fire's revealed himself. And wow, Roy takes one from the grave. His flames. Eliminate Zywoo. So an equal exchange there. And the question is, do Copenhagen Flames want to play in transition? Right? You can do a lot of things here on A. You can sit and wait to be spammed or mollied. You can regroup the forces and you can push exactly like this. And the transition is great, but they've actually picked the wrong site here. It's just Kyojin. You might get a rude shock in a moment. Oh, there's that shock. And now the rotation. Yabby, he has to get multiple, two big ones, and almost a third. It's just Apex. Yeah, he should have a little bit of room to maneuver, but a bit more than he expected is Hooksy. Their hopes and dreams are live. And look, it's not essential that they win this for major qualification, but it's the quickest way to do it. And also just prove to themselves and those that doubt that they can do it, not only in the big leagues, but do it in the big leagues in a best of three. They've already proved the first. Both teams had just as much time to prep for one another.
and oh, Hooksy spots a lot there. There's no reason that Vitality wouldn't give these guys the full respect knowing what is on the line. And knowing how dominant they had been in their uh, group stage. Yeah, exactly of course. That. So this is something that both teams have been spending the majority of this week focusing on. Now a deep molly secures that there's nobody close right. It makes Roy's life easier as he pushes. They need to clear this out, but with Nikodos as the bait, they might not. Three across his line of sight, and they do take equal exchanges on that ramp. Shock's up to no good here. Yabby, how switched on is he? Or is he just hoping to go unchecked? Shock's gonna be thorough. Oh, he's gonna clear him. Yabby in his blind spot. Not quite dead yet, but 10 HP. Shocks does not let that one go, but on the reload, Zyphon strikes. High flash could force him into a reposition. He's actually not ready it for himself. it. Yeah, flustered a bit. I think Hooksy will try this. He's loved the retakes. See what you're made of. Well, information gathered. Some utility dropped and ahead of it. He certainly has an opportunity here. Apex the tracer fine. Line line up. Who lines up for it? Yeah. Let's not do that. You know who we're talking about. Yeah. You know exactly who we're talking about. But the buy's back in, and this is an all-in maneuver from the Flames. If Vitality win this, they're gonna be the ones in the lead because it's gonna have to be an eco for the Flames in the next. So a lot riding on Nikodos. You're gonna wanna work out and decipher if your Vitality. The soda could puzzle here that is the buy of Co Copenhagen Flames. Copenhagen. Beautiful city. It is. Oh, and that's a beautiful find. Straight through the smoke, blind as a bat, still finds the frag. And they are coming to poke and prod at that B site. They've got Yabby's number and... Oh, that's a bit geeky. It is geeky, but that's scary. Oh, and he re-peaks that. That is brave. You've got three members of Vitality all aware of your location. You strafe out dry. Good luck saving. End well. Now, has uh, Nikodosh fired a shot here yet? Let me just flick on over to his POV. Not a single bullet fired. Vitality don't know there's an AWP. And I think if they did, they might actually consider a bit more of a hunt here. But because what they've taken out is a Famous and just one individual through the smoke who they're not quite sure what he was wielding, Nikodos might get lucky here. Yeah, and he's actually responsible for his own fate, it seems. He's actually like uh, quite actively holding for the hunt. Doesn't look like Vitality are interested. Hands and off the mouse and key. I was not say hands and feet are off the mouse and hands keyboard. Hands and feet? I mean, maybe Bubsky, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, just the hands are off the keyboard and mouse. I still don't think, like, I know that Bubsky's position to a lot of people seems unique, but I still don't think anything beats JDM, right? Like, that guy just looking oh, like he's... But I also swear that was half the reason he couldn't rifle. <laughs> Why? Because he's so far no, away. Like, look at the arm pivot. Like, if you're, you're actually... Right. If you're reclined like that, how are you yeah. supposed to... Like, I understand you can AWP like that. You just couldn't True. rifle. Oh. Gone are the days that that's uh, ever really allowed. In-game leaders can no longer not frag, and... Orpers can no longer not rifle. That's true. The, day, the times have changed. You need to have the full skill set. You just have to have one refined a little bit more so than the others. So this is still scary for Vitality. You don't know that there's an AWP in play. So uh, there's you, something here. Yeah, there, there's really something here. There's, there's grounds for an upset here for the French. Like they've definitely got an advantage coming into this. Take take note of Hooksy and Yabby's USP. Searching now, right? So you're hoping that you're buying enough time. You want everybody else to stay alive. It depends on how active they want Nikodos to be. Now, he's setting Zyphon up, right? Zyphon can stay close mid. I, I don't think Nikodos was going to want to continue to push mid. Usually, there'd be only one player defaulting there behind that generator position anyway. If they can float him over towards A in time, and the smokes aren't great from Vitality on their A take, then that's when you're going to see the most impact out of him. But as we've just noted, about 50 seconds has transpired, and... Well, a whole lot of utility has been held on to here from Vitality. So this is good of them to just hold on to their utility. More nades just to slow them on down. And that's it for the smokes. Roy, he's been good on the SMGs, but he's going to have to be great. How's he done that? I have no idea. Laser beam. Oh, and he actually tries to get back just as the smoke portrays him. Shocks elsewhere has found Siphon on that hold. The AWP will be here. Yeah, and that might catch them if they aren't diligent with the util, but... 30 seconds, there's a real opportunity still. You have to get that second smoke down. Nikodos will try and find a gap. You can see the initiative he's taking. He's trying to rumble their plans and hyper-aggressive, trying to bait them in with Hooksy's silence bullets. Bang! Oh, they Apex know now. He's gone. Yeah, but they've got 15 seconds, Chad, and he has the plant locked down. Takes down another. Silence by Zywoo. 
issues now if they can oh, just pressure it. Five seconds, they can't disrupt the plan, can they? Bonds down, they connect the shots, a USP retake. The Flames have done it again. The impossible becomes possible. When the Copenhagen Flames are involved, the two aren't. Back towards A, so. Oh, it's rough now. Very rough stuff as Hooksy, he wants to have a peek and he needs to be careful that Zywu Orp is trained on his position. Anything more than an elbow and he will go down the barrel. I believe it's been spotted. Uninterested in the engagement just yet. Apex, be careful. He's got the sling bag on his back. It, yeah. I'm really... <laughs> Don't turn your bottom and be close to that uh, tarpaulin because it will show through. Yeah. That's not even a question. That is the reality. Aim for the mage, by the way. Yeah, no, well, on the water on ancient, by the way. We know where you are. Mm, Apex, I think he's got up to his old oh. antics. Hooksy's movement is a problem for him. He's trifling with death now and only just turns tail Run, 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 run. Ah. He's going to smash the desk there. Oh, I would. I would be tilted after oh. that. I can feel the vein in my head popping. The dunk to finish, and it's the same guy that just eluded him. There's two here a bit. Oh, that nade is great. They're softened up now. The flames are gagging for a third here, and that's great. Siphon contributes. They won't be checking. Zywu booked. Yabby, 23 frags. Make it 24. Sailing. An eco round, and Apex has gone for a hero AK, so... Uh, they just want to make sure that they can keep things level. Oh. It's gone already. Oh. Overpass. You can smell it. You can sense it. What's it called when the picture's not quite straight? Skew if? Tilted, that's it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, Carrigan's was stressed in the first series. <laughs> Shout out to Finn. Yeah, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Stressed in the second series. Look how nerdy that one is. I love it. Put that one in your back pocket. I really love it. Like, that's the stuff you want. And he's also pre-aiming the boost, so I'll count to five. So will they. The amount of teams that flub this, though, like, you, you need to be part of the circus here to get that. Another smoke to deny. We are going to be looking at about 20 seconds. You're just going to have to run through it, Vitality. I'm sorry. You've been denied. Zywu is going to try on the boost here. Might need to do this now. Time is a problem. Unless Zywu can kill everybody. Unless Zywu can kill everybody. Okay. Just making sure I'm not actually... Cursing them? Yeah. yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not... Third, should we require it? And everything indicates we do. Vitality trying to pick up the pace and mix things up. And Copenhagen Flames already greet them with a the damage advantage. Hooksy's dunk to finish. An opening kill again from Hooksy and the nade. Roy contributes. It reeks of a third map. They're not far off the mark either. Hooksy got his smoker vision on. I thought it was only on the green maps, but. Either way, I, I don't I don't know how Vitality do this. I, I, I don't at all. Next round, it's only 2,900 as the loss. Without a plant here, Alex, without them getting the bomb down, the next round is MAC-10s, Tech-9s, Deagles, and they lose another. It is shocks. It is some it sharp is shots. shocks. This could put them right back into the uh, reminder of who they are and what they're capable of. Everything pointing towards a 15th until Shox put his name in the feed twice and Jabby, Yabby, do excuse me, on the late flank. They both opted for a ramp side hold and they only have a single flash. Shox won't even peek off of that. Oh, just as he looks away. The timing's perfect. Just as they both oh! look away, Zywu snaps into action as well. Vitality say play on. Oh, early on the incendiary recovered it, got a bit excited, flubbed it. Now they're on the defuse and caught again through the smoke. Nikodos doesn't have time for the defuse and Shox has finished it. Pulling Vitality, kicking and screaming into... Don't tell me it's exactly that. 
Yeah, Nikodos is going to get run down. Oh, tagged up by the nade. It slows him down. He has to stand and fight. And now an orc falls into enemy hands. And Shoxi's not slowing down for anyone. Walks into Zyphon. Ahead of the smokes. Apex already takes down the B defender. And I can't believe I'm saying it. They're saving. Are they? You know, we've got we to gotta <laughs> believe it. You know, they could disappear from the bomb for 10 seconds. You never know. But I, that, that right there, right? The MAC-10's fast mid. Inspired? Well, look... It's a bailout call. It's a, it's a, when the chips are down, right? That kind of a play, the pace in which you can overwhelm middle if a CT plays that aggressive. The missed shots, uh, Nikodos is doing everything he can to just try and salvage that because think about it. On a map like this, traditionally, you have one guy anchoring B. You have one guy holding middle and three players locking down A because A is the, the yeah, most... And a fast A is unretakeable. Exactly, yeah. right? So just coming through middle, denying the mid to B and... Oh, Masuda! In mid, he's addressing that and Apex strikes from the stairs. Well, they didn't invest. Alex, they didn't invest. They're going to let the 2400 come into the bank account the next, which will give them another buy. I can understand Boy. this. Ooh. Timing on this. The flash was great as well. Forces and, and maintains top ramp control. It looks like they want to fight for this. Roy's not willing to relinquish control just yet. And just through the smoke, his legs poking out. Masuta cut down to size. I feel like Copenhagen Flames have given Vitality a chance by not fully investing here. So if Vitality lose this, the door is shut. This is huge. This regress is huge. Oh, that's a big oh, miss. Oh, it misses. Pulls the crosshairs away. The regress as well falls flat. It's only really Hooksy that can do any damage on the initial aggression here. Smoked him off. He's trying to catch a stray bullet or two. Chips away at Kyojin. The plant down or faked out. The util's up. You've got to strike now. There's no kit here. Oh, and Saiwu collects on the leaping Yabby. Only the one remaining. Zyphon, this is a very tall order for him. Good luck. Have fun. 13 HP now. Hard to have fun with 13 HP. Oh, Zyphon's even giving himself a smoke to play around here. He can jump up onto the sandbags there, able to use that AWP over the top. And I think maybe the marching orders for Zyphon's come on in. Hey, dude, maybe save this one now. As I mentioned, 2400 into the next round of play, and we are going all 30 rounds again. Well, first map, 16-14, the second map of the day, it was an overtime affair. Then NIP stomped out the Movistar Riders. Here, Dust2 was close. Had a lot. And you can't be lobbing in that type of fast play again if you're Vitality. I know they're pushing the issue here. He did leave mid open initially, but nothing to be punished. And neither is Roy, undeterred. So he'll be there in time to address it. Apex's flash, a nice indicator as well. Okay, so they've gotten this space. So now which boost do they go for? Do they go for a boost at all? Well, he's going to be flashed off. Oh, no, he's not. Doesn't quite hit the mark there, Apex. So, if anything, it's just a sound cue for Nikodos to post up. That's the utility to lock him out. Trying it's to strike a pot shot. Yeah, this is different. Another change up completely. You can see the reaction. Roy swings out he's aggressive, the and there was nothing there to be traded. A back turned. They can't track him. Hooksy nearly finishes it right there, and then the Flames are advantage. Short-lived, because oh, Saiwu is hitting happening. everything. Starting to come alive. It was a must-win round for both of these squads, and now a 2v2. They got everything they need. Yeah, be flank. Yeah, cut down quickly. He was a bit premature on that. You can see Zyphon unable to do anything with it, and now he's got a very tough 1v2, and Zaiwu is in the end through their heads and now what is this what are you up to three through mid again are they going for the same play i think they're punishing the gap they've identified that mid is at least left idle for this early space hooksy's down oh he's been tagged on through this could be the final round of our series tonight and masuta's has taken a leap toward that conclusion copenhagen flames to be thrust down masuta housing the B rotation right now, and Shox has already caught them. Oh dear, Shox happens, a double from the Frenchman. Only two Danes remain, and a finish in regulation looms. He needs Apex, he needs him now. A weapon upgrade secured. Vitality, not gonna let this one slip. Shox's crosshairs placed well. Hooksy eliminated. Three in this round from Shox, and what does Nika does to do? Vitality. Just across the finish line in regulation. Hard fought. And the flame.